it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together. 2015 is gone. I have no idea where it went. I'm still not fully convinced that I haven't been in a coma for the past few months. I have been sitting down, looking back over the past year, trying to get a sense of what I achieved in 2015 and what I could improve on, what I can learn from. My initial kind of gut reaction was that 2015 for me was kind of filled with challenges and struggles um, and steep learning curves. <laughs> Not necessarily in a bad way. I learned a huge amount. I achieved a huge amount, but I feel like I really had to work to get there. <laughs> and work I did. <laughs> so looking back at some of the highlights for me, one of the biggest is that I haven't eaten chocolate for the entire year of 2015. I am a recovering chocoholic. I had a serious addiction to chocolate. It has been over a year since I last ate chocolate or sweets or drank any fizzy drinks or ate any desserts or anything like that. So I'm very proud of myself for that. That is a huge achievement for me. The second massive thing for me, and you will know this if you have been following me for any length of time, but I completed the KonMari method. I started this in April of 2015 and I completed the last category in December of 2015. But to finish the whole method in its entirety is absolutely, it's pat on the back stuff really. <laughs> It was a long process, it was a difficult process, but I learned a huge amount from it. There have been so many benefits in my life because of it. I have really embraced now the minimalist lifestyle. And obviously the site and the YouTube channel have grown so much over the past year. When I look back to where I was at the beginning of 2015, it's a completely different story. For a start, I didn't even have a YouTube channel. Launched this in April of 2015, so it's doing really well. Almost have a thousand subscribers on it now. That's really, really exciting for me. I did a course in digital marketing. I bought myself business cards, made it official. I learned a lot, read a lot, researched a lot, just really immersed myself in the whole kind of blogging and YouTubing world. And that is all down to you. Anyone who reads the site, anyone who watches any of my videos, anyone who sends me messages of support, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that, how much of a difference you have made in my life. It truly has been life changing for me and I intend to keep it up for as long as possible. As I said at the outset, I did have some struggles and some challenges. I'm not going to go into those in the, this video because I don't want to bum you out. But I have written a blog post on it. So if you want to hop over and have a look at that, I'll have it linked in the description box. It just goes into a little bit more detail about what I achieved this year and what I struggled with this year. But I want to move on to the good stuff. What's going to happen in 2016? Obviously, I don't have crystal balls, so I can't say for definite what is going to happen in 2016. But I can tell you what my plans are. Actually, I don't really have set in stone plans yet. I have good ideas of what I want to do, but I haven't quite nailed them down yet. I definitely want to redo the KonMari method. You will know that if you have watched my videos, I really want to redo that. I feel that the first time I did a really great job, but I still feel like there is more to do. So if I go back over it, I can whittle it down even more. I'm going to have a video on that actually coming up for you. Just my thoughts on having completed the method and what I've learned from it, um, what kind of tweaks or changes I would make to it, um, the pros and the cons. So watch out for that. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. That is coming very soon. Another thing that I want to keep up with is journaling and just kind of memory keeping, stuff like that. Since I started my bullet journal this year, I've really been keeping on top of journaling and just making notes of kind of important events and milestones and things like that. If you're not familiar with what a bullet journal is, link in the description box will tell you everything you need to know. So good to you. <laughs> and reading. 
I want to do so much more reading. Reading is such a passion of mine as well as writing and I just I don't do enough of it plain and simple. I've started to get back into the groove with it um, a little bit in recent months but I really want to make it more of a priority for me in 2016 because it is something I love. I don't really take the time out to just sit down, relax, chill out, curl up with a really good book. That is all going to change. I have a list of books lined up. The idea is that I want to read two books a month so I'm going to see how that goes but I'm really going to make time for it and actually plan it into my days. I also want to get a little more organized than I already am. I'm generally a pretty organized person but one area I've fallen down on is with the site and with my YouTube videos. I don't always kind of plan ahead for those. So I'm going to start a proper editorial calendar. I do have one, but I'm not currently utilizing it. I don't look at it very regularly. So that is definitely going to change because I want to plan ahead and work ahead for things so that I can take the time off then to read my books and to redo the Crown Marie method and to just generally enjoy my life. I'm also going to join the gym. <laughs> I have even though I'm quite thin, I'm terribly unfit. There is this common perception that thin people are athletic or very fit or, you know, go running at 4 a.m. every day. That is not the case. <laughs> right now, if I run up the stairs, I'm like... <gasps> so... The reason I want to go for a gym rather than do stuff at home is because I need to go to a class. The gym that I'm looking at and most gyms offer exercise classes and I need that. <laughs> I need something to go to because I won't do it at home. Throughout my life I have always kind of done some form of class. Um, when I was very young I did gymnastics. Um, in my teens I did aerobics. In my 20s I went to dance classes so I'm in my 30s now and I feel like I need a new class <laughs> but that's pretty much it for now I'm sure I will add a few things to the list as time goes on but right now those are kind of the things that I definitely want to do in 2016 though if I could learn to slow down time that would also be great let me know in the comments below what your highlights of 2015 were and if you felt as I did that it just zipped by in the blink of an eye, what is up with that? Thumbs up if you also felt like you've been in a coma for the last few months. I wish you all a very happy 2016 and a very productive one. Please subscribe to the channel because I do have new videos every single week and I teach you tips and tricks on how to improve your productivity and your quality of life in general. So please do subscribe and you won't miss those. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next year. Bye. Where did it go?